Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make an invisible card glitch effect very easy and quick in After Effects. First of all let's scroll forward where you want this effect to end and then split your layer in two parts. Now scroll to the very beginning of your first layer and then select a roto brush tool and double click on your clip. Make sure to rotoscope the car as smooth as possible, and once you are done, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, we can close rotoscoping window and then duplicate rotoscope layer. Make sure to select the bottom one and then grab a roto brush tool again and double click on that layer. Now unfreeze the selection and then check invert foreground slash background and then click on freeze button again. As the freezing is done, close rotoscoping window. Now select top roto brushed layer and pre-compose it. Rename it to car only and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit OK. Toggle off car only layer, we don't need to see it. Then select your bottom rotoscoped layer, the one we have inverted the selection and duplicate it. Select bottom one and press P on a keyboard, now move position down something like that. Then make sure to select both layers and pre-compose them. Rename it to inverted mask and make sure that move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected here as well and then hit OK. On inverted mask layer, apply a displacement map effect. Change displacement map layer to a car only layer. And now begin increasing max vertical displacement and max horizontal displacement until you get that invisible look. Make sure to play around with the displacement settings until it fits your scene perfectly. In my case I'm happy with the results, it looks so insane. So, the invisible part is done, but now we can add shake effect to create a transition between an invisible car and a normal one. I will use the shake from my preset pack. I have made a glitch shake that will fit this effect very well. You can also check my glitch shake tutorial on the channel, it's almost the same as my preset. Check this video's description, I will leave a tutorial and a preset packs link there. Check how it looks with the shake effect. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.